Foreigners seem to love it, but Italians claim that this is merda and it is illegal in Italy. So I don't know which one is the right one. Today we decided to put the one pot pasta into this. Does it really make the difference cooking the pasta separately from the sauce or it cooks just as well in one pot? Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we dress well and we live healthy without spending a fortune. And we also like taking challenges like today's one. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like that. We will cook two pasta dishes following two completely different recipes. The first one being the traditional Italian recipe, which we will take from the blog of Giallo Zafferano. second one, the famous Martha Stewart one pot pasta dish. And then we will have our special Italian guest coming in who will try both and we'll see if he can guess which one is which. And the rules of our today's challenge are only three. First, we'll use the exactly same ingredients for both recipes. We will use the exactly same amount of both and most importantly, we'll be using only authentic Italian ingredients. And after a huge demand from all of our 30 subscribers, we have our special Italian guest joining us today. Hello, everybody. Hi, introduce yourself. So I'm Minamino, I'm 26. I'm Vasi's boyfriend and I'm Italian. I was born and raised in a small town in Italy in Campo Basso. What are your thoughts and expectations for the one pot pasta? Well, I think it's not going to be as good as the traditional pasta and just the idea of putting all the ingredients together in one pot doesn't seem to be very appealing. The one pot pasta taste as you expected? Definitely not, definitely not. We, we, we don't do that in Italy, it's not really complex. Like, we boil the pasta first and then we mix it with the sauce. And do you think you will be able to guess which one is which? Oh, well, for sure. I think, I think it's going to be really easy. No, because they're both very similar. How often did you use to eat pasta when you were in Italy? Uh, I was having pasta like once every two days, I would say. But like there were times when I was having pasta for lunch and then I was having you know, the leftover pasta for dinner. Actually, I went to the hospital once. No way. Yeah. How uh, come? Uh, basically, my mother made a lot of carbonara and then I, I just said so much and I felt sick and I'm to the hospital. It kind of sounds like the dream of some people without the hospital part, of course. And last question, what would your grandma say if she knew that you were having the one pot pasta? Well, of course she would be very disappointed, but well, how about we'll just, like, how about we call her now? Pronto, nonna? Volevo chiedere, no? Uh, visto che a me, cioè, a me piace fare la pasta, però non me ne tieni prima a bollire la pasta e poi fare il sugo. Non posso mettere tutto in una pentola, sugo e pasta, così, per, per no, sbrigare. No, no, non posso mettere tutto in una pentola, no, assolutamente no, non va bene. No, 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 Invece la facevo bollire, penso che è stronzo. Metto il pomodoro e la pasta, non va bene, ok. No, no, assolutamente. Va bene, ma se no non è buona. Cosa fa? Non si iscrive l'Italia in vano, vichingo! Va bene, nonna. Ciao, ciao. She, she, she doesn't approve. Please. We're gonna do it anyways. All right. And our ingredients are spaghetti, cherry tomatoes, parmesan cheese, olive oil, garlic, basil, and salt. I started by preparing the one pot pasta recipe because this was the one I was more afraid of and to be honest with you, if I have ever prepared this while I was in Italy, I'm pretty sure I would have end up with no friends and most probably my landlord will throw me out of the house. So just a disclaimer here for all the Italians watching, I'm not trying to promote non-traditional recipes and this video is just intended for fun. 
After that, I continued by making the traditional pasta recipe by boiling first the pasta and then adding the cherry tomatoes with olive oil into a pot. I mean, you all know how it works. And after a lot of mixing, both dishes were almost ready. But look at them, they're so similar. I don't actually know if Ben will be able to tell which one is which. This is our one pot pasta dish. I will give it to him second and then put it on the left. And now, before trying it, which one do you think this is? This one, it looks like a regular, you know, like pasta dish. The tomatoes are a bit too boiled, I would say. And now, here is the other one. Ah. Uh, okay, they surprisingly look very similar. I still cannot tell. I mean, I kind of want to say this one is the real one, this one is the fake one. But I think I need to try... So here are our two plates. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to try them? Okay, so I'll, I'll start with this one. Mm. Mm. This one is a bit weird. <laughs> Does it? It's like real bad. Let's try this one. Oh, even the sound is different. Uh, Mm. Oh shit, I need to taste again. They have a different taste, you know, and different consistency, but I don't know which one is the one bowl the one pot pasta. I thought it was gonna be much easier to be honest. This one is good, but the pasta doesn't convince me. I don't know why it's not convincing me. It's, it's really annoying. <laughs> I can't tell. No, because they're both very similar. Uh. Do you think the taste is the same? Mm -mm. I think this is like this is really weird, okay? So this doesn't look like pasta to me. It's really dry. Mm. Well, it's good. Let's see. And here I like it because there's more cheese. While here I like it because there's more juice. But here the tomatoes look too boiled, and here they look too dry. If you can see, and also look at the spaghetti. The spaghetto. Here it's really, you know, thin, while here it's really fat, you know, it's chubby. So I think the one pot of pasta spaghetti are these ones, and the, the real spaghetti are these ones. Why? Because these ones are too dry, it's, I can't really tell, because th this tastes really weird, and this tastes like the closest to, you know, what you usually cook. And... Oof! So I was right, but yes. but it, that's wrong because like, I like this more. <laughs> I like this more. <laughs> okay. Did the one pot pasta taste as you expected? Definitely not. Definitely not. So this one is actually like it's m might seem very weird, but like this one really tastes good. You know, the sort of the flavor is more condensed. You know. Mm. Mm. We're back. And I want to ask you, what are your final thoughts on the One Pot Pasta Challenge? I think it was definitely like something I was not expecting, but yeah, definitely like yeah, I would much rather prefer the like traditional pasta. But I like this more! <laughs> and do you think you will be making again the One Pot Pasta? I might if I want to challenge someone else to like, you know, <laughs> to try to tell the difference. Do you think it was harder to tell the difference than what you expected? Way, way harder than like what I was expecting. Both dishes look so similar and like, I freaked out. Like the only main the only main difference was like the like size of the spaghetti and the same. Like flavor was like almost similar I would say. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like that. Bye!